Thank you for joining us for this instructional video. This video is put on by the Riddleberger IT department, part of Comfort Systems. This video will demonstrate how to set up Office Outlook 2007 and 2010 onto the new uh, CS Exchange server uh, in the CS domain. This is something that needs to be done before December 5th or could be done afterwards. This is for somebody who has a Windows XP computer who is using Microsoft Office Outlook either version 2007 or 2010. There are different versions uh, of this video available for Outlook 2003, also available at our YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash RBIIT. This one's specifically for Outlook 2007 and 2010. Since 7 and 10 are so very similar, we're going to use 2007. If you're on Outlook 2010, just follow along. I'm sure you'll be able to keep up. Now, first question that you have is, how do I know what version of Outlook do I have? Uh, it's pretty easy to go to Help and About and see that you have Outlook. This one here, for instance, is Outlook 2007. If you don't have a Help, thing right here. If it looks different, you're probably on Outlook 2010, which would mean you would hit the File tab and there would be a help down here. Another good way to find out is just look at the icon in your desktop. It should say 2007. Or hit the Start button, All program Programs, go to where you have Microsoft Office installed. If everything lists here as 2007, you're probably on 2007. If it shows 2010, you're probably on Outlook 2010. In either case, if you have 7 or 10, you are watching the right video. We're going to show you how to set up the profile on your Outlook. First thing you want to do, after you've determined that you are on Outlook 2007 or 10 and watching the correct video, is to just go ahead and close Outlook so that you don't have that open. Next thing is you want to click on the Start button, or in Windows 7, the Start Orb and go to control panel. Now your control panel might look like this which would be the category view. If it is in category view you want to select the user account and then click on mail. Uh, if your view is the classic view which means it would look like this you want to double left click on the mail icon. So you want to double click double left click on the mail icon and when this window comes up you want to click on show profiles. Now you probably only have one profile here, you may have more, but take a note of what the name of the profile is. You're, it's probably set up like this where the radio button selected says always use this profile and this might say Outlook or CSU or something else. Just make a note of what your current profile name is. First thing that you want to do is change this radio button to prompt for profile to be used and then once you've done that click on add. In the add button window you want to type in CS email as the new profile name. Uh, you want to type that in capital C capital S space capital E mail that way it'll be similar to everyone else then hit OK. Right here you do not want to fill any of this out. You want to go to the manually configure server settings for addi or additional server types and hit next. Here the choice that you want to choose is Microsoft Exchange. It might be a little bit different in 2010 but choose the option that has Microsoft Exchange in it. Here you want to add in the IP address of the new server that you're going to that IP address is 10.66.150.168. You want to use 10 and then I'm using the dot, either the decimal point or the period uh, from the keyboard, but again it is 10.66.150.168. And you want to type in your username. Now in this case my username is robert.cohn. Even though my first name is different than Robert, Robert is my preferred name. Yours may be your first name, not your last name, or it may be your preferred name. Uh, you should have 
had to go through this and figure that out when you went through the enrollment process it's going to be the same username there just first name dot last or preferred name dot last then you want to hit check name this will bring up a dialog box uh, log on to window now here's an important step it will probably have CSU backslash and your username here what you need to do is change that to CS backslash not CSU and then type your username this migration is mainly going from the CSU domain to the CS domain it's important to get that distinction uh, anytime you're logging on to the new email server you want to make sure CS precedes your username and this is the password that you set up during the enrollment process so you put in CS your username and the password you can click remember password if you want to that'll save you from having to put that in again now it helps if you type your password in correctly as I did not uh, on the first time now this may take a few seconds to synchronize it's getting what mail server you're going to be on it's resolving your name properly you can see that my name has changed from where I put in first name dot last now it's last name comma first name underlined and I also have a server name here mine happens to be CS webmail 4 yours might be a different number than that but if these are both underlined then you're good to go to the next step which would be click on more settings then you want to navigate to the connection tab you need to click the box under Outlook Anywhere, connect to Microsoft Exchange using HTTP, hit the Exchange Proxy Settings. Here you need to type webmail.com sysusa.com. So that is W E B M A I L dot C O M S Y S U S A dot com you want to leave connect using SSL only checked you want to leave that alone you need to check these bottom two here you want to check where it's on fast networks and on slow networks both of those need to be checked this drop down box here needs to be changed to basic authentication you'll notice that when you change it to basic authentication it grays out the connect to using SSL only option basic webmail.com sysusa.com and these two things checked okay uh, now you want to hit apply and OK go to next finish now you you've completed setting up two different profiles you have it to prompt you for which profile to be used you've got your current profile you've got CS email that you're going to use after December 5th so now you can close all the windows that you have open and get back to your Outlook if this is when you double click on Outlook it's going to ask you your profile from now until December 5th you want to use whatever your current one was after December 5th you want to make sure to use the drop down choose CS email on December 5th or later you can even choose options and click set as default profile uh, then it won't ask you that anymore for now we're going to log into the regular help desk and I need to point out that when you're logging back into your current email you need to pay attention to which domain you're trying to log into this is trying to log me into the CS domain and I need to log in at least for now to the CSU domain so I can use this nice drop down box here find CSU backslash whoever I logged into last put in the password and it will connect and get your email if you have any questions please call the help desk and thank you for your time